Hello! Today I'll be reading a book titled Black Girl Magic, a book about loving yourself just the way you are. This book is written by Zara Bryan and illustrated by Jose Nieto. Here is a piece about the author Zara Bryan. Zara, a magical little black girl, wanted to encourage other magical black girls around the world to see the beauty within themselves and to share that magic with the world. Her love of reading and writing encouraged her to explore the halls of libraries that were often filled with books of characters that did not look like her. Not seeing little girls like herself portrayed in children's books often contributed to her struggle to celebrate her uniqueness and beauty. As a result, Zara has made it her mission in life to help black girls everywhere on their journey to revealing their magical beauty and celebrating their uniqueness. I highly suggest that you go and support this author by picking up your copy of Black Girl Magic. The author Zara wants all the little black girls out there to know that they are beautiful, strong, smart, worthy, and simply magical. Zara's hope is that you will keep this book close to you and that it will remind you of how worthy and unique you are, especially in those moments when you have doubts. This is Zara's story. It was the first day of school and Kaylin was so happy and excited. She was going into second grade. She finally felt like the big girl her mom always said she was. After all, what would make her a big girl more than being in the elementary school? The big blue building across from the infant school that housed kindergarten and first grade? She felt so confident walking into her classroom with her sparkling pink rolling bag and notes with stickers in her pocket. Kaylin sat down at the desk that had a name tag marked Kaylin. She was brimming with excitement about what this school year would bring. Sitting next to her was a boy named Paulo. Paulo looked over at Kaylin and said, and don't you look like a baby. He then turned to Christopher and said, look who we're sitting next to. Miss Perfect Grades, Skinny Minnie. Where's the beauty in this class? Both boys laughed. Kaylin was mortified. She started to cry and ran out into the hall so no one would see her tears. She couldn't wait for the school day to end. Her first day of school had turned out to be nothing like she had imagined. As soon as the closing bell rang, Kaylin saw her mother's white Jeep compass pull up to the carpool lane. She quickly ran outside hopped in the car, and immediately broke down. Mom, am I worthy? She sobbed. Then she told her mom everything Paulo had said. Mom answered, Yes, you are worthy, you are divinely made, and you are magical. But, no matter what her mom said, Kaylin did not feel worthy or divine and she definitely did not feel magical. She felt worthless, hopeless, and not good enough. She felt like there were a hundred worms crawling around in her stomach. No matter what mom said, it didn't stop the horrible feeling Kaylin was experiencing. Mom's words just couldn't change it. Kaylin was glad it was the weekend she just wanted to be alone. Kaylin looked over at her bedside table and saw her furry pink unicorn journal. She pulled it onto her lap and started to write. Dear diary, is it true? Is it true what Paulo said? Is there anything good about me? Kaylin felt hopeless. Then she wrote, why? Why am I allowing someone to make me feel this way? I am better than that. Monday morning, as Kaylin got ready for school, 
She stood in front of her mirror as she brushed her kinky, curly hair. Suddenly, pulled out her journal and wrote, My hair is kinky and curly and soft, and my skin is a milky, chocolatey brown. My eyes are so round and full that my dad says they look like full moons. I am beautiful. Tuesday morning, she wrote, Last year, my teacher told my mom that I am a very good student. I work hard at solving my math problems, and I don't stop until I get them right. I am persistent. Wednesday morning, with a huge smile on her face, Kaylin wrote, A few weeks ago, at my cousin Liam's birthday party, he accidentally fell into the deep end of the pool, and I jumped in and pulled him out. My grandmother said, I am a hero. I am brave. Thursday morning, Kaylin was excited about adding, Mom just gave me a telescope for doing my chores every single day for an entire month without anyone asking me to. I am responsible. Friday morning, she anxiously wrote, I always make sure to listen to my best friend, Emma, even when she says the craziest things, LOL. I don't always agree with her, but I do listen, so I know I am kind and respectful. Kayla knew it had been a good week for her. When she walked into the classroom, Paulo came up to her and asked, Why are you smiling? Why do you look so happy? Kaylin responded, Paulo, I am smiling because I am beautiful, I am persistent, I am brave, I am kind, I am respectful, I am worthy, I am magical. The end.